Hello and welcome to our video on the European Union's markets in crypto assets, MICA, regulation. Before we start, please remember that the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. MICA is a regulatory framework for crypto assets that was ratified by the European Parliament in 2023. It covers issuers and service providers, with the aim of protecting consumers and investors while ensuring financial stability and supporting innovation. The regulation will come into force between mid-2024 and early 2025. So, what is covered by MICA? The regulation defines a crypto asset as a digital representation of value or rights which may be transferred and stored electronically, using distributed ledger technology or similar technology. It draws a distinction between cryptocurrencies and tokens and sets requirements for crypto asset issuers and crypto asset service providers. Crypto asset issuers must provide complete and transparent information about the crypto assets they issue and comply with disclosure and transparency rules. Crypto asset service providers must be registered and implement security measures and anti-money laundering compliance. MICA provides a regulatory framework for digital assets that use decentralized ledger technology DLT. The main crypto assets covered by MICA are asset reference tokens and electronic money tokens, as well as crypto assets that are not considered asset reference tokens or electronic money tokens, such as utility tokens. ARTs are a type of crypto asset that purports to maintain a stable value by referring to the value of several fiat currencies that are legal tender, one or several commodities or one or several crypto assets, or a combination of such assets. On the other hand, Electronic money tokens purport to maintain a stable value by referring to the value of a fiat currency that is legal tender. MICA also seeks to mitigate the environmental impact of cryptocurrencies, which is one of the main concerns of regulators. The industry requires a considerable volume of computer components and generates electronic waste. Therefore, MICA establishes mechanisms to ensure that stablecoins are truly stable, require enhanced transparency in the market and prevent players from creating excessive risk while making sure that the assets under custody are genuinely protected. It's important to note that MICA excludes new paradigms such as DeFi, decentralized finance, industry and non-fungible tokens. DeFi is a new way of providing financial services that dispenses with traditional centralized intermediaries and instead relies on automated protocols. Non-fungible tokens are unique and indivisible tokens that represent a piece of digital art, a video, a tweet, or any other unique object. In conclusion, MICA is a pioneering legislative text in terms of regulating crypto markets, and it undoubtedly places the European Union as a global pace setter. It provides regulatory certainty and stronger protections for consumers in the crypto market, while supporting innovation. It is also designed as a building block of a wider regulatory effort that includes initiatives such as the Digital Operational Resilience Act, the Decentralized Ledger Technology Pilot Regime, and the Transfer of Funds Regulation. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please follow our channel, like, and subscribe for more educational content.